Several countries are mobilizing to reformulate their energy sources, prioritizing the use of sustainable fuels and processes. In this scenario, Toyota is ahead of other industries in the market. Toyota has been clear in its position, expressing skepticism about a fully electric future. However, the Japanese company is about to explore other forms of energy never before considered by humankind. Before we begin the video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We have videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, exclusively made to enrich your knowledge and make you an even more interesting person. Returning to the video's topic, in this context, the Chinese state-owned manufacturer GC Group, which is partially owned by Toyota Motor Corporation, achieved a significant milestone by developing the world's first ammonia-powered engine for passenger vehicles. Let's examine this new ammonia-powered engine from Toyota and consider how it may impact the electric car market. First, it's important to understand what an ammonia engine is and why it is so relevant. An ammonia engine is essentially a type of internal combustion engine that uses ammonia as its fuel. Ammonia consists of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms, which distinguishes it by the absence of carbon atoms. This results in ammonia combustion without the emission of carbon dioxide, unlike traditional petroleum or gas-based fuels. This unique feature positions ammonia engines as a promising solution to reduce pollution in the future. There are various approaches to making ammonia engines efficient. One of them involves breaking down ammonia into its components, hydrogen and nitrogen, and using the hydrogen in a fuel cell to generate electricity. Another approach is to mix ammonia with other fuels like diesel, gas, or hydrogen before igniting them together, making ignition and sustained combustion easier. A third approach involves using ammonia as the primary fuel source, which requires advanced technologies such as spark ignition, compression ignition, or homogeneous charge compression ignition. Ammonia engines have significant potential for the future, with one of the main advantages being their high energy density. This refers to the substantial amount of energy that can be stored in a given volume of ammonia, making them suitable for applications where high energy density is crucial, such as in the transportation and power generation sectors, where efficient energy storage and use are essential. Another advantage is the widespread availability of ammonia, which can be produced from abundant elements in the Earth's atmosphere, such as hydrogen and nitrogen. This further reinforces the viability of ammonia engines as a sustainable energy solution. Toyota has established a partnership with the Chinese state-owned company GAC, and together, they have unveiled a groundbreaking engine prototype that operates by burning liquid ammonia. This innovative achievement is remarkable, as the 2-liter, 4-cylinder engine can generate 161 horsepower while reducing carbon emissions by an impressive 90%. This accomplishment is of great significance, with substantial implications for both the future of automotive design and environmental preservation. The development journey of this engine was not without its challenges. Reports from Autocar magazine indicate that the development team had to overcome various obstacles, such as managing increased combustion pressure and addressing excessive nitrogen emissions. These challenges, though substantial, underscore the dedication and innovation involved in making an ammonia-powered engine a reality. One of the most notable achievements in this endeavor was overcoming the inherent challenges of fast and efficient ammonia combustion, historically a hurdle to its widespread adoption as an alternative energy source compared to traditional fossil fuels. The company acknowledges that the exploration of ammonia as a low-carbon fuel is gaining momentum in various areas but emphasizes that there are still challenges to be overcome to unlock its full potential. It's important to note that while ammonia may be a promising energy source, its large-scale adoption by car manufacturers will require further development and refinement. While immediate implementation may not be on the horizon, Clean combustion engines powered by ammonia represent a promising direction. It's worth highlighting that Toyota holds a significant stake in GC, the company behind this innovative ammonia engine. 
Toyota's approach to emissions-free transportation is multifaceted, including a variety of alternative fuels and conventional electric vehicles, as well as hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Mirai. Toyota is also actively exploring the feasibility of hydrogen-powered combustion engines, as evidenced by its involvement in various racing initiatives to test and evaluate this technology. Given Toyota's innovative approach and investment in GC, it is plausible to consider the adoption of ammonia-powered power plants in markets like China, with the possibility of expanding them to other regions as the technology matures. It's important to note that currently, about 80% of ammonia production is used in the agricultural sector as a fertilizer. Furthermore, ammonia has applications in various industries, such as explosives, dyes, plastics, and various chemicals, highlighting its potential accessibility as an alternative energy source. Although challenges still persist, ongoing advancements in ammonia-powered engine technology and the strategic involvement of major players like Toyota indicate a future where cleaner and more sustainable transportation options may become a reality. China, which has the world's largest electric vehicle market, is considering the possibility of banning the sale of internal combustion engine cars, following a similar trend to California's policies. The emergence of alternative fuels such as hydrogen, ammonia, and synthetic fuels could potentially extend the viability of internal combustion engines. These innovative fuel options may eventually become more cost-effective to produce than fully electric vehicles, offering a compelling and environmentally friendly choice for a broader audience and addressing convenience concerns. Toyota which holds a strong position in the Chinese market and has developed electric vehicles specifically for that region, demonstrates its commitment to catering to diverse consumer preferences. The exploration of technologies like the ammonia-powered engine aligns with this comprehensive strategy. It will be intriguing to see if this technology will advance to commercial availability and, if so, whether it will be introduced on a global scale. In the context of the evolving Chinese automotive landscape, the potential integration of vehicles powered by alternative fuels, such as those using ammonia, adds an exciting dimension to the ongoing transition to more sustainable transportation options. It is also important to recognize that while the developments in ammonia engines by GC and Toyota are significant, there have been previous advancements in this field. About a decade ago, the Korean Institute of Energy Research made notable progress in creating the NV vehicle, which used a mixture of 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline, resulting in an impressive 70% reduction in carbon emissions. The EMV project was dedicated to exploring the potential of a fully ammonia-powered engine, demonstrating the feasibility of this technology. When examining GC's engine, which uses liquid ammonia as fuel, it's important to note that there appears to be no production of carbon dioxide. This observation suggests the incorporation of an additional fuel source in the engine design, which can be a pragmatic approach given the characteristics of ammonia, such as its comparatively low flame propagation speed, which can pose challenges for engines operating at high RPMs or low loads. By combining ammonia with another fuel, GC's engine may have effectively addressed these limitations, ensuring smoother and more versatile performance under various driving conditions. While different projects have approached ammonia-powered engines in various ways, they all reflect ongoing efforts to harness the potential of ammonia as a cleaner and more sustainable fuel source for combustion engines. As this field continues to evolve, it is likely that more innovations and optimizations will contribute to achieving the goal of environmentally friendly transportation. We are interested in hearing your opinion on this engine. Leave your comments. Thank you for watching so far. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time.